PNID, uh, Piping and Instrumentation Diagram. And a PNID uh, is a the diagram describing the details or the elements of a process plant, like this plant here. A diagram describing everything, uh, every pipe and every valve and every sensor in a, in a plant like this. Uh, and of course, it's it's drawn like a diagram to get the over to give the overview to the reader of the diagram, much like an electric circuit diagram, uh, which not it's not an exact drawing of the electric circuit. It is a drawing of the uh, elements in the circuit. In Norwegian, it could be called Technisk Flytjemma, but no Norwegians use that. We tend to use PNID uh, in Norway too. Uh, so it's a map of all the functions and uh, uh, which describes the functionality of the plant. And all the elements in, uh, in uh, a plant must be included in a diagram. So you cannot uh, let out a sensor or something like that. Every sensor has to be in there uh, to show why they are there to begin with. Uh, and of course, it could be a map of a part of a of a plant, or the entire plant itself. Uh, the PNID is not drawn according to scale. Uh, like in this diagram here, you could guess that the tank would be much much larger than, for example, uh, a sensor here or an indicator. Uh, so. Uh, and here it, the indicator is drawn much larger than it really is in the, but the point is here to give the reader an overview of the entire plant uh, so the pumps and valves for, for example may look very large compared to the tank itself and where they are located are not shown in the diagram either so uh, because the distance here between this tank and this pressure indicator here might be uh, several meters while here in the diagram they seem to be close together. The idea of the diagram again is to give the reader an overview about the process and learn as much as possible about the process itself. Standards is an uh, ANSI and the American National Standards Institute and ISA International Standards Association uh, standard number this and that uh, and it's called instrumentation symbols and identification and again for like all standards the goal is to establish a uniform tool for describing instruments and instrumentation systems so, so uh, the word uniform tool is important when it comes to standards um, a PNID like this one here shows four things First of all, what kind of group the system element is in, uh, and uh, the location, where it is, the function, what it does, and the connection, how they are connected to each other. So let's go through these four elements of a PNID and describe, describe it in further detail. The group of system elements. Uh, we have circle, circle inside a square, hexagram, diamond shape inside a square, and those specialized symbols here. A circle is a freestanding element. So it could be just, for example, a sensor, a pressure sensor uh, mounted directly on a pipe and uh, freestanding without being connected to anything else. If it's uh, uh, inside a square, it means that it's a shared uh, element. So that means, for example, that this one is the results from a, from a sensor, for example, is shown on a monitor that is also used by other um, uh, other devices. Uh, so it could be graphics on a monitor, for example. HMI is an abbreviation for Human Machine Interface. Hexagram is a logical function like data, data processing, something done by a computer. Uh, diamond inside a square is a PLC function, PLC, Programmable Logic Controller. Uh, kind of computers found in almost every process in the industry. And then you have specialized symbols. This one is for a pump, uh, where the symbol itself describes uh, the function that it uh, serves to a plant. 
So more some more specialized uh, elements here are examples of valves. Well, in many diagrams, you will not find all these uh, elements here. You will simply find this symbol, for example, for a valve, or maybe this symbol. Uh, the idea is just to show that it's a valve, and then the text associated with the symbol can describe in further detail if it's a butterfly valve, or if it's a ball wave valve, or if it's an uh, angled valve, or whatever it is. But uh, if the valve is filled, it's a so-called normally closed valve, while if it's uh, not filled, it's a normally open valve. A normally open valve will be open until it has given been given a signal to close, to uh, either choke closed or completely closed. Um, so if if the if there is loss of power, this valve will remain open. While if there's a loss of power, this valve here will close. Other system elements, pumps and tanks, uh, different uh, symbols here. Centrifugal pump and uh, screw pump, uh, whatever. So, so you can read from the symbol itself. A tank, a drum, a dome roof tank, and so on. The line uh, inside the symbol if it's a squared symbol or if it's a round symbol, it doesn't matter. Uh, but the, the line inside here describes where the system element is located. So if it's if it doesn't have a line in it, it's it's located in the field. So you have to go to the pipe or whatever to find the instrument, and then you can access it there. If it has a division line here, it means that it's in the main control panel. So you'll find it in the control room of a plant, uh, and uh, or maybe in a dis video display in that control room. If it's a dotted line, it means that it's normally not accessible to the operator. Uh, however, it could be behind a panel, for example. So it's not meant to be seen all the time. That's what a dotted line uh, illustrates. A uh, double line means that it's an, on a secondary control panel. So you could maybe have, for example, on a ship, you could have one control panel uh, in the engine room and one control panel at the bridge. And then uh, in Norwegian, the uh, stiplets uh, dotted uh, line here uh, means that it's uh, in a secondary location, not usably accessible, uh, but behind a panel. Summary of all these symbols here, uh, the group and location. And the stars here shows how common it is and, and uh, how often you find it in, in, uh, in the plant. So this one that is that's found in the field is very common. And this one on the shared panel in the main control room is very common as well. The function of system elements is shown with the uh, letters inside it. So you have here two letters. So the first letter describes what's it for. Is it for analysis, flow, level, pressure, temperature, or whatever. So this is a pressure, this is for temperature, this is for pressure, pressure and temperature. And the second and third letter uh, is what it does. This, this is a pressure transmitter. So this is a pressure sensor. This is a temperature transmitter, temperature sensor. This is a pressure indicator and control. Which means that you can use, and it's in the, in the main control room here, so division line says that. So the, in this pressure indicator, it means that you can read the pressure in the control room, and it also controls this valve here. This is a pressure control valve, P, C, valve, V. And this is a pressure transmitter and tem temperature transmitter. So this system here reads the pressure and temperature before the valve and after the valve, and the valve is controlled by the pressure before the valve. The numbering of elements here is not very standardized. It, it depends a bit about uh, uh, company policies. And like in this case, number one is from the valve and upstream, and number two is downstream. And finally, the uh, lines connecting the elements. If you have a solid line, it means that it's a pipe for fluid. If it's a dotted line, it's for electrical signals. 
uh, you find that dotted line here. And then you have some specialized for pneumatic, etc. So let's study the previous page here. Uh, solid lines here is pipes for fluids. And the dotted line is for electrical uh, uh, signaling. I would prefer to draw this line. This is the main pipe in the system. I would have drawn this thicker to show that this is the main flow of the process fluid, while the thin lines here just connect to the trans uh, transmitters.